Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to Divine Timing Tarot here at In Your Element TV. Today, I'm going to be using the Light Seers Tarot from Chris Han. So if you wonder what deck am I using today, it's one of my favorite decks, it's really beautiful. So we're going to see what the energies are for the moment. But before we go, remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together because the Divine Timing Tarot, it's about energies read through the cards that land at the exact time that you need it. So if you're watching this video, it's probably going to resonate with you because that means you are aligned with the, the timing, you are aligned in time with the tarot reading, okay? So uh, without further ado, here we go, I'm going to shuffle the cards and then we'll see what the first card has in store for you and what theme do we have for this week. There we go. First card up is the Four of Swords. So, the Four of Swords is a card that can bring different um, interpretations, but for today it feels like you need some rest. This card is all about going internally, but more uh, on a physical journey. So basically, um, if you haven't been sleeping a lot, or you've been working hard, or you feel that you haven't got time uh, to take that extra nap in the afternoon that you need to energize, or shall I say re-energize, uh, then please find the time, because this card is about that. It's about resetting and re-energizing. So um, a little bit of respite, um, some relaxation time is needed. That's what the card opens uh, the reading for. So I'm gonna put it here for the moment and then we'll see what the second card is. Okay, I'm gonna take the second card and let's see what comes together with the Four of Swords. The Page Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles, it's um, a, pay, a card of new beginnings, new offers. So it's also love for the money, love for the material, but not in a, in a very uh, materialistic way. It's more that kind of abundance, uh, that initial abundance. So that means that you probably, by taking um, rest and respite, you will be able to probably connect to your abundant self and um, start seeing more what's on offer and having more of a clearer picture of what's being offered to you as well in terms of career and money and uh, abundance in the financial, especially the financial, it feels that this week that's why it's touching the financial frequencies and energies. So let's see what's the third card coming through. Just bear with me. <coughs> Bit of a cough there. <coughs> mm. Feels like the energies are a bit stuck in the throat. And it's interesting because this video is the throat chakra. So, um... <coughs> mm. sorry about that. But I think it's very important to pinpoint this because this is about also you claiming your energy in your throat chakra, which is your expression. And I just spoke about taking time for yourself and also uh, because of your abundance in money. So it looks like you need to look where your energy is going, where your expression is going. So look for those things that you put your energy in and you can express yourself clearly because obviously I'm having a, a bit of an expression problem here. So it's, it's about claiming back what is yours, those gifts that also gives you the opportunity to put yourself out there and also to claim back in terms of financial abundance, what is yours. And that shows me now here um, the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands definitely confirms that because the Four of Wands is the achievement of everything that you want and that you need in terms of family, in terms of love, career, um, finances. And so the opportunity is there, but justice must be served. This, there is a lack of balance at the moment. So <clears throat> take a deep breath in and a breath out. 
let it go. And say with me this very um, powerful but very simple uh, affirmation which comes with the magician. So it's also about manifestation and everything that you want. So let's say, I have the power within me to claim everything that is mine by divine right. So repeat that a few times this week and um, that should help you to um, bridge um, the expression that you're actually being a little bit tampered with by external forces or by your own sabotage. So these are the cards that I have for today. So let me show them to you so you know how it is. So we have first we had the Four of Swords, then we have the Page of Pentacles. Let me see if I've got it in the right order. The Magician is the last one. But then you have the Four of Wands and Justice and the Magician. So we have five cards here giving you insight on what is in store for you for this week. What a reading. And um, yes, so thank you so much. If this resonates with you, leave us a comment on the comments box and also leave us any suggestions or feedback that you would like on subjects that you would like us to uh, explore with a divine timing tarot. And otherwise, you know, see you in the vortex. Goodbye.